Good morning, MBTHS, and welcome to May's edition of MBT News. I'm Alex. And I'm Jordan. We'd like to welcome everybody to today's show and kick things off with a bang. That's right. Today we're getting right into the Principal's Corner. Mr. Neller, take it away. Yeah. Good morning. This is Mr. Neller. Um, I am pleased to say this is my last Principal's Corner for this school year, 2018. Um, as part of my last Principal's Corner, I'd like to discuss two things today. First of all, um, and if you see behind me, there are some upcoming senior events. I want to send a message to all of our senior students who hope to graduate this June of 2018, just to remind you that these events behind me, the prom, project graduation, these are events that we want you to attend, that we want you to come to, that are exciting events, that are fun events for each of you, and we want you to enjoy them. But in order to do that, you must be in good standing and ultimately graduate on June 21st. So please remember, fourth marking period counts. And for many of you, you need to pass classes this fourth marking period to make sure that you are in good academic standing to receive your diploma on June 21st. So do, although senioritis tends to kick in at this time, for many of you, do not allow that to happen. Keep working hard, work with your teachers, because ultimately it is up to you whether or not you're going to graduate this year and get to enjoy these events. The second thing I'd like to talk about is about a month ago, we had a special program come to our school, an organization called Where Angels Play, which is an organization that goes around the world to build different equipment or playground equipment for people in places of need. So in the past few years, where Angels Play has visited New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. They travel to places such as Boston, Massachusetts. They usually go where there has been a crisis or a tragic event, and they build a playground, a playground equipment and honor that person for people to enjoy. One of the places they have been to is Rwanda in, the, in Africa. Rwanda is a country that in the 1990s experienced a terrible genocide where many people of its population were killed. And as a result, that country continues to suffer the aftermath of that genocide. So Where Angels Play went to that country to build playground equipment for those people. So what you're going to see following is a short video talking about a, a Rwandan who is actually coming to the country to get surgery with the help of that organization. Surgery he would not be able to get in his own country um, because they don't have the medical medical ability that we have to help people in some cases. So I would like you to view the video and then I'd like you to be aware, students and staff, that in June we will be holding a Staff Jeans Day to raise money for this cause for Where Angels Play Foundation and we will also be asking students if they are able to to contribute in some way as well. So with that being said, it's been a great school year. I've enjoyed doing the Principal's Quarter. I look forward to doing it next year. And at this time, please enjoy the video. Thank you and have a great day. Yeah. I grew up in Kigali. Uh -huh. yeah. I know. Were you, and, and how old were you when the genocide was happening? Yeah, I had like a three years old. Uh -huh. yeah, now I'm 20. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about your family? Uh, did you uh, lose any family members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a mom uh, yeah. or other members. Wow. Yeah. The whole family. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters? Yeah. Actually, I had like uh, five. Wow. Uh, the, and how did you survive? Yeah. Actually, I was just you know went in different camps. You know, like a refugee camp, orphan camp. You know. And yeah. you were see that you were injured, right? Yeah. At, at, at three years old. No. Yeah. Yeah. I had. It. Years old, yeah. and that's just like much. Yeah, yeah. God bless. And, yeah, but something that I was just really need to say is like a, I already forgive one who did this. You have forgiven them. Yeah, my message to all people, whatever the world, is forgiveness. You yeah. know, I can just go to visit him in a prison. I can just visit him for money. Everything really? Is, yeah, like free. Really. I go how, there. How, how do you people in America or around the world might say? Yeah. How that's crazy that you you were able to forgive somebody who killed your entire family. Yeah. Uh, but where do you cut? Where do you get that from? Your faith? What? Why? Why? Why do you feel to yeah. forgive? Yeah. It's because you know we are human beings. Sometimes you know actually no one is perfect. Yeah. Actually, I have my positive side and my negative one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems like you or another people. Yeah. yeah. 
even that people, I mean, that guy who is in prison, he lost his family as well, yeah, because it was genocide. Mm. Yeah, so many people lose their family and everything. Mm. Yeah, their, their money, their, even their life, you know. Mm. Yeah, but I really, you know, forgive him. So forgive when him. you forgave them, how did it make you feel? Did you feel like it freed you? Did you yeah. feel... Yeah, because you know, I'm not like a... Go to the church every Sunday. And be bitter, right? You know, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to the church every Sunday. But you know, I can just, you know, do by the by the actions yeah. give it to help poor poor. I don't have like a lot of money. But you know, I have to pay. I have people I pay them like yeah. in the primary school. You know, I pay them like ten K London francs, you know. Even if I don't have like a lot of money, but I can just afford that, you know, at least. You know. What a beautiful message of forgiveness! It's uh, the world could learn a lot from you. you yeah. Know, so you would like your story to be told to everyone? To you think wars would stop if everybody yeah. forgave? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Because I know that I have different, you know, I have different programs, everybody has different programs, but if you travel in different countries, different continents, you can just meet with different people who have more than you, who have less than you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But I never travel even in this country. Yeah. It's gonna be great for me to travel whatever meet with the people who survive in Holocaust, who survive in other kinds of genocide and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What a beautiful uh, message. Yeah. So would you be willing to tell your story at great length and, and inspire people? And, yeah. And uh, as you are an inspiration to me and my brother and to all of us. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, so God bless. Let's let's follow up and do something even more uh, yeah. honest, that's, okay? Yeah, it's okay. We trust in God. Everything we trust in God. God bless you. And I appreciate you. You're the man. Yeah. Mr. Nelly did mention graduation, and honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait for the finals, though. I'm exempt from some of mine, but for all those who still have to take it, here's Samantha Rodriguez with the finals survival guide for all the underclassmen. I'm here with Christian Volpe. Have you studied for finals yet? No, I have not. Do you know how to study for finals? No, not at all. Have you studied for finals yet? No. Do you know how to study for finals? No. <laughs> I don't. Have you ever studied for finals week? No. I don't. Okay. How do you guys study for finals? Um, I kind of like don't study for finals, you know, or sometimes I'll cram it the night before. Yeah, I usually just cram the night before. Does that ever work for you guys? No. No. <laughs> As a graduating senior, what's your tip to the freshmen for studying for finals week? Make an effort. Don't give up. It matters. Effort! Ah! Maximum effort! Uh, for me, one thing that really helped was um, looking at old tests. I feel like that's like the easiest way to get through the most material in the shortest amount of time. You know, study smarter, not harder. Um, don't wait till last minute. Sleep and cram. You heard it here. So you've heard it here on how to study for finals week, but here are some of my personal tips. One, make sure you sleep. Sleeping is really important because your day's going to be long. It may be an early closing, but you're up all day. Two, do not wait for last minute. I promise you, you can't learn a year's worth of material in a matter of hours. Three, don't cheat. A lot of people get caught cheating because they didn't study. Four, relax. Do not panic. You will do fine. You heard it here at NBT News. I enjoyed that. I took notes and I hope you guys did too. I have a nice little review for myself. And speaking of reviews, next we have this month's Raider Review. We take it now to you, Matt Girello. Because today on Movies and Matt, we're going to be talking about Deadpool 2. Hit it! Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my hands. What suckers are fear? Making the tears rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass door. Tell me they got that in slow motion. I'm just gonna go get the negatives out of the way first because let's face it, this is Deadpool. He sh deserves no negatives. Let's see. There are certain scenes that could be like extended a little more. Some jokes don't always hit. TJ Miller is, is obnoxious. But with that said, 
What's great about this movie? Well, everyone in this movie does a fantastic job. Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, Zazie Beetz. The comedy is, is top notch. Like I said, there's a lot of missed jokes, but the ones that do hit, they're amazing. And the action is a big step up from the first movie. The guy who directed this is David uh, Leachman, I think it's who pronounces it. He also did John Wick and Atomic Blonde. And you could tell this guy knows his action because there's a lot of crazy set pieces in this. And it's just amazing. So, would I say Deadpool 2 is much better than the first one? Absolutely. I say go see it if you're a fan of Deadpool. So that's my review of Deadpool 2. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I saw Solo, a Star Wars story early. And guess what I thought of it? I'm gonna go and see it. Me too. Well, recently, we had our spring concerts and art shows. Next, we'll take it over to Jason Williams to look at the arts and the music department. So, right there was just the band playing, and today we're gonna talk to you guys about arts and music. What exactly is art stuff? Artstock is National Arts Honor Society's annual event. It's kind of um, coffee house like, but more uh, 70s vibes where we have people singing, dancing, playing instruments. We dress like hippies and we eat good food. And it was it was a fun time. I'm here with Miss Groman, and last year was the district's first ever pop up art show. So, what is the pop up art show, and how did it compare to last year's? Well, the pop up art show is a an art show that uh, actually we have the entire district art teachers come and show students work. Uh, last year we had a great turnout. This year we went way over 500 people, which was amazing. Anyone who puts 50 cents into this machine will be the person who gets an original, unique piece of artwork made by a student or a teacher in the school and the 50 cents goes to build a graduation award for a worthy senior or seniors. All right, so I'm here with Sam Rodriguez and you recently performed at Artstock, how was that? It was really fun. It was nice seeing um, a whole bunch of people like coming together to perform a whole bunch of different things. So it's really nice seeing how talented everybody is in North Brunswick Township High School. Thanks a lot, Ms. Grohman, Amy, and Sam for the interviews. Back to you guys at the That studio. was a pretty good wrap up. A lot of things are coming to an end. Even most sports are. The baseball team beat South Brunswick in the first round of the states on Monday. So it's not over just yet for them. Now we have our last story of the day, brought to you by Amy Velez. Her story is something I'm not going to but it is something that almost every senior has been waiting four years for. Amy, tell us about prom. Thanks guys. I got to find out if some juniors are excited for prom, if they enjoyed prom, and what some seniors have planned for their prom weekend. Are you guys excited for uh, junior evening and what are you most excited about? Oh, I am very excited. I'm, I'm mainly, mainly excited for, uh, for dressing up nice, having my date look really nice, you know. Um, no. I'm ecstatic. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for junior evening. Um, I think the uh, Enchanted Forest will really set the mood. And if you are a junior and you decide not to come, I think that's bluffiness on your part. Thank you. Did you guys go to junior prom? Yeah, I went. Yeah, I did. Uh, if you could change anything about junior prom, what would you change? Um, next year, I mean, I'll definitely want more people to come and maybe the little venue change, maybe a little bigger place. I would like a really nice chocolate fountain. Like, I wanted to, like, get my munchies on. Did you go to prom last year, and are you excited for prom this year? I actually did go to prom last year. I went to senior prom. I'm more excited for this senior prom, being that it's my class, and I had more time to put, like, the little details together regarding my dress and my hair. And I'm excited. So did you guys go to uh, prom last year? No, we did not. Not I was slow. Uh, what are your prom weekend plans for this year? Well, for Saturday, I'm going to the Roots Picnic Festival, hosted by Dave Chappelle. Uh, we're going down to Seaside for the weekend. It's going to be pretty fun. Me and my date are going to meet up with other people and go to Bible study. That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with a senior. So are you excited for senior prom? I am pretty excited, actually. Do you happen to have a date yet? Um, no, actually. I still have to ask. 
And who are you planning to ask? Well, I was planning to ask Delaney. Um, Delaney, I know I might be a little late, but will you be my prom date? Let's find out what she says. Thank you, Amy. And that ends this edition of the news. But before we go, here's a few quick announcements. Here are some important dates in the upcoming month for us. There's the SGO Capture the Flag on May 30th. Senior Awards is June 6th. The Senior Barbecue is on June 8th. Project Graduation is June 22nd. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Everybody have a good day. Thank you for watching. And remember, we, we are, are North Brunswick. Brunswick.